Hello, I am Dr. Sri Ram Ramalingam, cataract, refractive, squint, and glaucoma surgeon, Pradhyan Netralia, RT Nagar, Bangalore. Strabismus or squint are of various types. The inward deviation of the eye is called as an esotropia. The outward deviation of the eye is called as an exotropia. The upward deviation of the eye is called as a hypertropia. Or downward deviation of the eye is called as a hypertropia. The most common cause of squint or strabismus is congenital. That is, children are born with squint. Other causes may be high refractive errors or high power in the eye, which may be in one eye or which may be in both the eyes. Other common causes of squint occurring in later age may be loss of vision in one eye due to various causes, may be an injury, damage to the optic nerve. Other causes are after a brief illness like measles or chicken pox, child can develop squint. The most commonest cause in India is congenital or children born with it. The second most commonest cause is high refractive errors. Children with high refractive errors with one eye can develop a condition which is called as lazy eye or amblyopia. Because of high refractive errors in one eye, the child is not able to see clearly in that eye. So the brain starts ignoring that eye and the eye starts going towards squint or strabismus. Treatment of strabismus or squint. There is a major misconception. Children born with squint or strabismus are considered to be lucky. I always ask the parents, in what way a child is lucky? If the child is not lucky, are the parents lucky to have a child with a squint? Children born with strabismus or squint become introvert, do not mingle with children, they turn to other forms of entertainment, they may not go out and play. So they have a very slow self-esteem. So no children born with squint is ever lucky. On the contrary, the most unluckiest person. The reason being, a child with strabismus will have a poor vision in one eye. And if untreated, they may have loss of vision in that eye. So a child with squint is never considered to be lucky. This used to be considered lucky because old times there was no treatment for strabismus. So parents used to say the child born with squint are lucky. Now coming to the treatment of squint. Why do we need to treat squint? Treating squint is not only for cosmetic reasons. But a child with squint does not have what is called as 3D vision or what is called as good depth perception. So a child with squint requires surgery as early as possible. That is as soon as he is diagnosed to have strabismus, a child should be operated upon. Surgery is a mainstay of treatment. 99% of the child, a child with strabismus will require a surgery. And post surgery, the results are very very gratifying and very good. In the present time, most of the children can develop a good 3D vision and good cosmetic alignment. Very rarely, less than 1% of the time, child can be treated with glasses. But 99% of the time, child should have a surgery. And the surgery should be done as early as possible to prevent further complications like loss of vision, permanent squint. So, mainstay treatment of strabismus is surgery.